guys welcome back to my channel if you are new make sure to hit the subscribe button my name is Mackenzie and I am going to be a sophomore fashion merchandising student at Kent State University in the fall I am posting to my YouTube channel every single day in the month of June and on Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays I am sitting down to talk about college related stuff with you guys today I'm going to be talking about all the things I brought to college and never used didn't touch stuff like that this is all my personal opinion so some of these things you might really enjoy Enjoy having at school or you may use daily but for me they were things that I just didn't necessarily need so I hope you guys find this video helpful I will leave links to my blog and all that other jazz in the description bar as well as the link to Saturday's video which were all of my college dorm room essentials the things that I reached for every single day so if you haven't checked that out I encourage you to do so without further ado let's hop right on it so my mom was totally one of those moms that went through like every Pinterest article packing list Bed Bath & Beyond our school packing list and like triple checked everything there were not a lot of things that I came to school with and still needed like I pretty much had everything I needed throughout the year right down to Tylenol allergy medicine like all of it but there were definitely a few things that we brought that I just didn't end up needing a lot of it was extras of stuff or just like unnecessary things so you might find this helpful or it might seem kind of redundant to you guys but okay so the first thing i want to talk about is laundry baskets i grabbed a two pack of like collapsible laundry baskets from costco and i loved the laundry basket i kept it in my wardrobe kent state has wardrobes i lived in centennial court a for those of you who are wondering obviously every school is a little bit different but i kept my laundry basket in there and it was great i but I came to school with two and I sent my parents home with the second one almost immediately. You only need one laundry basket. I know some people like to have one for clean clothes, one for dirties and stuff like that. But there's just not enough space to have two different laundry baskets. So just grab one. I promise you don't need more than that. Next thing is so many extra clothes. I brought way too many clothes to school, especially because of my job. I obviously get sent hundreds of pieces of clothing a month and I always 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 was moving things from like brown boxes that they came in to my closet and then from my closet into an ikea bag to just shove in the corner and hope that i was going home soon so i could bring inventory home so i know that i recognize that not everyone is in the position that i am obviously being a blogger and a youtuber getting all that kind of pr but you do not need that many clothes i promise you there were so many things at the end of the year that i brought home it was like i literally never Ever wore this one thing in specific that I can really think of that I didn't wear at school were rain boots I know a lot of people like rain boots but I think that hunters are so heavy that I literally never wore them I would either wear like it was pretty much snow boots like it was snow boots or nothing so rain boots were something that I left at home home second semester personally just because I didn't really have a reason for them and just a bunch of random stuff like I came with a lot of summer clothes and I realized that I didn't it wasn't going to stay that warm for that long so I brought a bunch of it home and then second semester I was just getting so many clothes that I was like I wish I had literally left all of this at home and just let my job like kind of fill my closet up as you go so you don't need a ton um, and be mindful that your room is really small like a wardrobe is not that big especially if you do have a wardrobe take that into consideration when you are packing up for college depending on the setup of your dorm it can kind of depend and will let you gauge how much stuff you can actually bring and fit in the room the next thing I never used were the shoe racks under my bed so I bought like these little cheap chintzy like $10 shoe racks from Walmart and my plan was to keep my shoes on them and pull them in and out every time I needed a pair of shoes and it was an awful idea like literally disastrous within the first day they were all like breaking apart I mean it was like one of those really easy ones to assemble but if you're gonna get a shoe rack invest in a good one and get one from like Target that's like wooden on the sides and actually has like metal um, racks not like one of those ones that has like three different like I don't know how to describe it I'll try to insert a picture of what I had and what didn't work for me I ended up just grabbing like a big clear tub from Target that was like five bucks and I just threw all my shoes in that and I would just dig through them every time I needed something the next thing is tchotchkes like I hate tchotchkes so much and I didn't necessarily bring a lot of them to school with me but you just don't need them like all this extra decor these extra things like the extra little cat 
cactus for your desk you don't need it like there's so much stuff that's going to be in your dorm and it's overwhelming to have like just like not junk but just like little random stuff just leave it home i know that it like is cute and fun but i found that i was like overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that i was supposed to fit in this room and so having that extra stuff just like Ugh, I just sent it home. I was like, I don't even want it here and I just sent it back with my parents. Next thing is a whiteboard. I know a lot of people say to get a whiteboard, but Kent came with like a whiteboard outside of our doors. So we kept a whiteboard in our room. We were like, oh, well we bought one and it came, the room came with one. So we just hung it up in our room and we pretty much never used it ever. I think we like used it for the first time maybe a month before we moved out because of Corona. So we never used ours. However, Olivia and Lauren, we were always writing something on it and like just using it for diagrams and lists of people and boys and random stuff. So they use theirs a ton, but in my room personally, I never used my whiteboard we never changed it okay so another thing that I grabbed before my freshman year was like an extra rod you can buy like rods that have like it's like two pieces of fabric almost and then an extra clothing rod and a lot of people like hang this up on their wardrobe so they can have two rows of clothes like you know two different rods again I'll try to insert a picture because I don't know if this is making sense but if you have a wardrobe I do not recommend getting one of these your wardrobe is at least at Kent is too small to hang an extra layer of clothes I was like oh no I'll put like my really tiny crop tops and even that didn't work it was a mess and I shouldn't have bought it because it was just a waste of money and it just didn't work out so you don't need an extra rod if you are someone who has like a typical like a tall rod you know like a tall closet in your room then I think it would be useful but because I had a wardrobe and it was only like yay big it just didn't work for me the other thing we brought and I didn't use was an extra trash can and my mom was like I don't think you need one you have two trash cans that the school provides for you and I was like no like we need to grab one just in case and then I just had this extra trash can so we didn't need an extra trash can and um, that is something that usually your school will tell you um, like you can go into the little dorm like details or whatever and it will tell you what they provide in the room if they have two trash cans you probably don't need a third one the next thing that we had in the room that we didn't use was an extra lamp Emma and I both brought one and we just didn't need them both of our desks like had lights built into them and we kept one of them on our like Alex and I in drawers in the center of our room which was basically like our nightstand I'll try to insert a picture here so you guys can see but we did not have anything to do with this extra lamp so you don't need a lot of light fixtures that's something that I would probably wait until I get to school to decide if you need an extra for if that makes sense number one thing I probably didn't use was Tupperware my mom sent me like with a bunch of different containers and she was like you might get food from the dining hall and like want to keep it in your fridge or something and I literally never ever touched the Tupperware the only time that I would like use Tupperware was if my mom sent me back to school with like something in one and then I would just have to wash it and put it under my bed so don't bring it you don't need it other thing that kind of goes along with that was Ziploc bags like I had Ziploc bags in every single size because she was like you might want to pack like goldfish or a snack in your bag and I never touched them the only time I ever used a Ziploc bag was when I went to New York Fashion Week and I needed to put my toiletries in something so never use those either extra throw pillows you do not need so many of them I promise you um, I had like three full-size pillows because that's how I sleep on my bed at home and so I wanted it to be pretty much the same and then I had three different throw pillows I think and my husband pillow and that was like the perfect amount although I liked borrowing Emma's like nicer cutesier pillows for videos and like for the background of pictures and stuff like that I definitely didn't need any more than what I had because they just take up space you don't need them and more times than not you throw them on the ground because you're not really supposed to sleep with them anyways so keep that in mind the next thing is like a bunch of acrylic storage so prior to going to school my mom and I like went to TJ Maxx and we bought all these little like clear cutesy acrylic things to put in my desk and she was like this is a great way we're gonna be able to organize your desk and stuff and it's something I wish I would have waited to buy once I got to school um, the things ended up not necessarily being the right size or the right shape that I wanted for my furniture at school so I would recommend waiting until you get to school taking the measurements and seeing like what you're what you are gonna personally put in those drawers I know that Emma kept her makeup in her desk drawers I know Olivia kept some food in her desk drawers I personally only kept school supplies in those drawers 
and I kept hair stuff in the first one so kind of wait until you get to school see what how you're gonna adapt and what you're gonna put in those things before buying those most schools have like a Target or a TJ Maxx or something in that area or obviously you can buy online and grab those kind of things because I just I ended up with so many extras and things I didn't use. Okay, one other thing that I want to touch on was this like sticky lining that you can put on the bottom of your drawers and it makes it so that your clothes like don't move around so much. I have these in my drawers at home and I know that my sister who goes to Marshall University loved having these, but I did not. I felt that they were always moving around because I didn't have them the right size or anything like that. So I didn't use them. I know that's kind of a random thing to put in here, but if you are thinking about getting those for your room I would recommend again waiting until you get to school and really taking the measurements I wish that I had the measurements of all the furniture at Kent it's something that I was planning on doing um, before I moved out but then we were like rushed out because of corona and stuff so I do not have the measurements for the Kent dorms I feel really bad about it but I don't so keep those things in mind I did however have drawer dividers which like basically just divide the drawers up they're like little spring ones and I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond I have them in my drawers at home too and I love them they are such lifesavers and they really do help me just keep everything separate and organized in my room those were something that I really really enjoyed having so like I said everything mentioned in this video like maybe it's something that you used all the time at school and I just didn't but that's just my opinion that's what I ended up bringing and not using if I think of anything else I will try to leave it in the description bar below but like I said for the most part my mom did a really great job of making sure that I had what I needed and so I did hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions comments or college video requests be sure to leave them below and I will talk to you in my next one bye guys